the blog. Um, I'm going to do a quick video on how I installed my uh, electric vacuum pump. Um, I know I still need to finish up the video on the stereo and exactly the wiring. I'm going to do the next video is going to be an overview of just all the connections, um, how I wired it up, how I where I put the power wire for the sub, um, and all that just to finish up the first video I did, which was kind of like how exactly I wired it up and whatnot. Um, though I didn't test it out, go exactly into details, but I will on that second video. But this one, um, just really quick, I'm gonna show you guys how I did, like I said, the vacuum pump um, and which one I got. So this is the one I ordered. Um, it's called the Black Bandit by Lead Brakes, right there. Uh, kind of pricey um, for what it is, but uh, just looking at the reviews, looking um, at like test videos and whatnot, they even provide one uh, like the standard one and this one that was recommended to me and the ones I've used the saw, which uh, looks like a little piston one, looks weird. Anyway, it doesn't produce enough vacuum um, or it does, but it's just, it doesn't produce it as fast as this lead one. Um, and the lead one, the bandit's also a lot more quiet. Granted, this car is fucking loud, so you know, you wouldn't even hear it. But let me show you guys um, how I installed it, uh, where I installed it, wired it. Um, and all that fun stuff just because I try to hide it as much as I can. It, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, and yeah, I just, I needed, I needed brakes because, um, when I drove it home from the shop, um, I only got like three good pumps, um, due to the cam and whatnot. So let's go check it out really quick. All right. Overview, right? Good, good, good. You can see I hit it right in here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Right there. Cool, cool, cool. So once you get this, and if you guys buy it, you notice that you have to remove this bracket, this bottom bracket first. And it's held on just by actually two screws, one on this side and one on the other side. And then you just loosen these, and these ones aren't, they're slid on. Let me see if I can get that. See how there's a gap right there? like the bolt would just slide right off um so i popped it in here marked it with a sharpie went underneath and drilled in two holes there's four there's two on the other side but i didn't get to do those i just did these and it's sturdy enough for me um so yeah what i did was took off this bracket um you could choose to sorry you could choose to um this is just a housing uh, and I got it back because I want to paint it this color eventually. But you take it out the housing. Um, and it's kind of tricky because this housing doesn't fit right here. So I had to take it all apart. Which is this, this end, this end. And then the center piece, obviously, the actual pump. Um, so you put the pump inside here. And then you kind of finagle these inside there. Then you kind of assemble it. It is kind of hectic getting your hands in there. But you can do it. Obviously, I did it just fine i didn't use all the bolts to put it uh back in together but it's sturdy enough for me so one cool thing about this it only uses two wires so this is coming straight from oh no sorry yeah this is coming straight from here and then obviously this comes with it so then you get the black which is ground and then power wire that's all you need black and power so black, you could hook it up to the body of the car, the frame, as long as it's a bare metal surface, you got it. And then the power, um, you're gonna wanna do this from like an ignition source or an auxiliary source. So, let me show you that really quick. Um, let me show you exactly how I did mine. So I kinda try to hide it, still need to tuck this in here. So, these two wires come straight from here. Right, I'm gonna show you exactly where I wired them up. I wired them behind here and into the firewall. So let me show you exactly where I put it. I actually got an external, or not an external, an additional fuse panel box. Um, let's see, where is it, where is it, where is it? So we have our negative right up here that's leading straight to the unit. And then, if I'm not mistaken, it's this one, this top one right here. This is leading straight to the unit as well. But, 
let's say if you have a stock car and you have no additional auxiliaries i know i need to clean all this up um you can use the fuse box so you use this ignition one right here or you can use the accessory one so straight from uh the bandit wire it up to here and then you just wire up your ground anywhere where there's a bare metal surface that's it it was that that easy straightforward um some of the other ones that i saw had a lot of wires to it you know or not a lot of, maybe like four wires um but this one is literally two wires ground and power um obviously you don't want to connect this straight to the battery because then it's going to be running 24 7 so hook it up to the fuse box the ignition wire or the ignition uh port whatever you want to call it or the accessory one um right now i, I think i have a the way I have everything hooked up, it's on accessory. So whenever I turn the key, it's gonna flick on. Um, eventually I wanna move it over to ignition, so it's only running while the ignition's running. Um, granted, once it fills up with vacuum, it stops pumping, which is great. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how I wired it up. Like I said, it's that easy. It's just literally two wires. The hardest part was figuring out where I wanna put it. which is right there. Other than that, it was just getting all the wires to go inside there. So to where this is actually going to something else. That's going to something else. But um, yeah, that's how I wired it up. Flush. You don't even see it from this angle. It's kind of hidden because it's dark over there anyways. And it works every time. It turns on, it does this job. Um, so if you guys are looking for something quiet, something that's not going to rattle, vibrate, definitely check out the Bandit. Um, like I said, they have the chrome one, the black one, or they have the bare Bandit, which is just the unit that's on the inside without the housing. So you can get that by itself, it's a lot smaller, easier to hide. Um, but I kind of wanted to make it look discreet and all black, which is why I got the black Bandit. I actually wanted the chrome one at first, but um, it's like back ordered and stuff like that. And I was like, I can't wait to have brakes. I still want to drive the car. Um, so just got the back one, and like I said, I'm planning on painting it the same color as the car and whatnot. Um, but yeah, quick video. Do that. You're going to get brakes. They're going to work. It works great. They're not the best still. I feel like if I got like the hydro brake booster or some, something that's powered off the uh, power steering pump fluid, um, obviously that's what you're going to want to go with. And that's going to make your car feel like a modern car. But hey, with this, it works. It's responsive. It fills up with vacuum fast. Um, I'm able to lock up the brakes and everything like that. Um, if you guys have any questions, just leave a comment below. Um, ask me, DM me on Instagram, whatever it is. Um, and yeah, till next time.